One standard theme of science fiction is the use of lasers as personal weapons. What are the actual issues with making this possible? Well, lasers as combat weapons are not only in the area of science fiction, they are actually currently used by the infantry of various military forces. However, these are not used to destroy targets directly, instead they are used to indicate enemy targets to other units who in turn fire missiles or other weapons at them. These lasers are low powered, relatively cheap and enable the person using them to remain largely undetected. Changing the role of these lasers is not going to be easy. The issues generally break down into several distinct areas. Power, effectiveness, cost and vulnerability. So how much power would it take for a laser to kill either a person or disable a vehicle? The people part is a bit of a problem as you're turning one energy form into the laser beam which then affects the target by heating it up to such a degree that it actually hurts the target. The person would remain stationary whilst this happened or the burst was a very short duration it might be easier but having part of your skin a heat up does decidedly make you want to move and delivering all that power in a short time gives you even more power usage problems. In short we're talking about a weapon delivering between 5 and 20 kilojoules of energy. This is about the total output of a medium sized battery for what is the equivalent of a single shot. This is without taking into account the portable laser is unlikely to be all that efficient in turning the original power source into the beam and the beam then delivering the resultant power to the target. So in order to charge and recharge a laser you're probably going to need something of the size of a backpack. Against a vehicle hitting a vulnerable spot like say a fuel tank might be viable however transferring enough energy to destroy the vehicle as a whole would be totally impractical. So how effective might a laser weapon actually be? Well the range and accuracy wouldn't be an issue as these are main advantages of lasers. However environmental factors would be a key consideration. Since a laser is basically focused light anything that might obstruct the light would reduce its effectiveness. This could be anything from fog and rain to smoke and dust. Then there's the target itself. In an environment where laser weapons are actually expected, it's possible to protect yourself from a laser by the use of reflective materials. And even things like say ceramic armor or Kevlar will dramatically reduce the killing power of a laser. Then we have cost. Lasers are expensive, complicated pieces of equipment. And whilst it's likely to be reduced in the future, will still always be far more expensive than a reasonable quality rifle. This difference will of course be magnified if the cost can't be reduced by mass production. Related to this we have vulnerability. One of the key difficulties a soldier actually has is to ensure that their weapon is in a functioning condition when it's actually needed. The high technical specification of a laser and the number of different parts all which need to be functioning at a high level of efficiency, ensuring that a high powered laser will actually function on battlefield conditions will be difficult, the laser will be too vulnerable to malfunctions. So as summary, a laser might work as a limited shot, long range sniper type weapon for highly trained troops under ideal circumstances, but as a general weapon for your average person it's not just going to be feasible for your standard person to be able to use one.